Okay, this is question seven from example sheet one. Again, look, one ATM there. So you should be thinking about figure 31A from the thermodynamics property tables booklet. This question, we are looking at uh, an air conditioning section where the air is first heated and then humidified. So what we need to think about here is a three-stage process. And we're going to have a situation where the 1 is equal to omega 2, but not equal to omega 3. So you can see here now on the diagram, we've got 0.1 here, 0.2 here, and 0.3 here. And we're given T1 equal to this, relative humidity at 1 equal to 70 and the volume flow rate in meters per minute, meters cubed per minute. For part A, we're asked to find the temperature and relative humidity of the air when it leaves the heating section. So we're interested in point 0.2 here, we're interested in T2, and we're interested in relative humidity at 2. Remember, if we can find two values here, we then know, using the psychometric chart, we can find the rest. Okay, as we previously stated, um, omega 1 is equal to omega 2. And omega 1 can be found, you know, given the temperature of 10 degrees and relative humidity of 70%. And you'll find, using the psychometric chart, figure A31, you get 5.3 grams of H2O per kilogram dry air or thereabouts and if you want to convert that into meters into kilograms of course. Okay so we found one value omega 2 at 0.2 so we're just interested in finding another value. Okay because we know the mass the mass flow rate of dry air is constant so we know that MA flow rate of air, mass flow rate is 2, and the mass flow rate of air at 3 is all constant. Now we also know that from thermodynamic laws that energy is conserved, and hence E in equals to E out. Considering process 2 to 3, to three, we know that since humidification is occurring, omega three is going to be greater than omega two. It's not equal. Okay, so considering that energy balance equation, we have mass water vapor, enthalpy of the water vapor, M A. Now, this is what we're interested in finding. This is our second value that we're interested in finding at point two, and hence we can find the answers to part A of the question. Um, continuing the equation there, mass of airflow at three is equal to H3. And it's worth noting here that MW there, M subscript W is the mass of saturated vapor, and HW is the enthalpy of saturated vapor. Um, water vapor is equal to mass of the air, omega 3 minus omega 2. Because of the saturated vapor added per, per kilogram dry air is equal to the difference of specific humidity. Hence now if we sub this equation into here, so subbing that into the equation and also bearing in mind that MA1 is equal to MA2, which is equal to MA3, considering these we can substitute into this equation and you'll find we have MW and A bracket 
omega three minus omega two plus m a two plus m a two is equal to m a three. W bracket omega three minus omega two plus H two is equal to H three. When we rearrange, and remember we're trying to find H two. So finally, to rearrange um, the cancellations we saw earlier, where this was cancelled throughout. Remember H2 is what we're trying to find, so H3 minus HW bracket omega 3 minus omega 2. From the chart, we're given two values at point 3, so therefore it's possible to find H3, which is equal to 42.5 kilojoules per kg. And omega 2 is equal to omega 1, which is, as we previously calculated by using the chart 3, that's not 0, 5, 3. Hence, as a result, HW from saturated temperature tables, HW and HG equal to 100 degrees. Um, is equal to two six seven point seven five point six kilojoules per kg. We also know omega three from the chart, which is zero point zero zero eight seven five kilograms. Hence, now subbing these values into the above equations because we have this, we also have this, um, and we also have this, and this. We therefore can find H2 to give us two values at point 2, and hence we can easily find. So when you sub that into the equation, You will find H2 is equal to H2 and hence now we've we've got our two values. We know H2 and we also calculated omega 2. So using these two values. A31, page 46, T2 is equal to 19.5 degrees C, and T2 is equal to 37.5 degrees no, percent. Okay, looking at part B, now of question 7, example sheet 1, um, rate of heat transfer in the heating section and a key bit of information we're given here is the rate of air flowing into the heating section is 35 meters cubed per minute simple equation here um, Q, Q in is equal to mass flow rate 2 H2 minus mass flow rate at 1 H1. Remember, we know that MA1 is equal to MA2, and hence this can simply be cancelled down to 2 minus 1. Um, if we find H1, we can find this because we've got two other values. We can use a psychometric chart 
a31 to find this h2 we know from earlier on so as long as we know find ma we can then easily find q in now ma we know is equal to volume flow rate divided by the specific volume and we can find from the chart a31 at point one we know specific volume is equal to 0.809 kg and being as we're here we'll also which is equal to 24 kilojoules per kg and if we come back over here in order to find this so 35 meter 35 meter cubed per minute divided by 0.809 meter cubed per kg cancels of this and you leaves you with a value of 43.26 kilojoules kilograms per minute Q in therefore can simply be calculated by subbing in the values twenty-four G that and that gives simply the value of Q in to be around 401 kilojoules per minute. Okay, considering part C, C, the rate at which water is added to the air in the humidifying system. So MW is equal to total mass of water vapor added and MW equal to MA bracket Me3 minus Omega2. And we already previously calculated all of these values, the answer of 0.149 Gs per minute. Of course, if you need the value in seconds, just divide by 60.